Hello, my name is Amanda from 3 and 3 quarters and in this video I will be showing you how to make a really simple rail fence block. This is the rail fence block. It's perfect for beginners because it's just strips sewn together into a block. This block is also perfect uh, to use up your scraps. So if you have lots of scrappy strips in your stash, this is perfect to get rid of all of them. In this tutorial, I will be showing you every step of how to make this block. It's really easy, really simple, and hopefully I sort of get you on the track of knowing how to make this block. Before you get started, don't forget to iron all of your fabrics just to get rid of all the creases. Um, and it will also help when you're squaring off your fabric, which I will show you in a moment. Um, and it will just also just make the whole process a whole lot easier with nice, smooth, flat fabric. Okay, so first I'm going to show you how to cut a two and a half inch strip. But before we do that, we need to line up our fabric. So to do that, you just put your selvages together, which is the ends of the fabrics here. Line them up, then fold it in half and line up the selvages with the fold that's in the middle of the fabric. So get that all nice and squared up, like so. And then we're going to just trim off this edge, just so we have a nice clean edge to work from. And just cut a two and a half inch strip out of each of your fabrics that you have, just like that. Okay, once you've cut your two and a half inch strips, figure out which order you want to place them in. I think, I think I like it like that. Or, or is it better like that? Hmm, it's a hard choice. But once you figure that out, uh, let's get to putting them together. I think I might leave it like that. When you're piecing these together, you can either um, use pins the strips together like so. Place one long strip on top of the other, sides facing. Line them up against the edges and you can just pin them in place like that. Or if you're brave enough you can just simply lay them together at the sewing machine and just sew straight down the edge. Sewn that line, we want to open it up, open up the whole strip. We want to get our last strip and we're going to lay that on top, sides facing, and again just line that up against the edge of the fabric here. Don't worry about making sure all these bits are all lined up. See, so you can see how that's not really even. Um, we're going to be cutting that off anyway, so it's all good. Pin it if you feel comfortable pinning the whole whole strip. Or if you're free, feeling brave again, just sew your quarter inch seam right down the edge. Okay, so we've sewn all three strips together and it's time to just iron them so they're nice and flat. And because we've got a light fabric here with darker shades, we're going to press the fabric on the back away from this lighter fabric. So these seams are going to be going this way. So I'm going to get my nice hot iron, nice and steamy, and we're just going to iron them nice and flat. and do that along the whole length of the strip. So we're back at the cutting mat and what we're going to do is we're going to cut off this edge here. Just get rid of all these nasty bits of the edge. 
trim that off and I'm going to measure just this here one two three four five six and a quarter and so we're just going to cut a square that same size so one two three four five six and a quarter okay that's my square and I'm going to cut out four of these sizes So I've cut out four uh, little rail fence units, that's what these are now called. And I'm just going to assemble it into one big block. So you can pretty much put these blocks anywhere you like um, to create a pattern. Put these together so that these florals sort of create a little kind of design. Or you can flip them around the other way and have these white strips as a bit of a design going through it or you can do something totally different and swap those around so when you've got all different blocks together you're almost going to have a pattern going through it like a zigzag because of these bits here so I think I might put those white bits back I think that looks pretty cool and I also like because of the zigzag pattern on the this fabric it creates sort of movement and I think it looks pretty cool. First off we're going to put this unit on top like that and again if you're feeling brave you can just take that over to the sewing machine and do a quarter inch seam all the way down there or if not turn around just pop some pins in it just to keep it in place. There is no problem with pinning things. I very much encourage it at this point so that everything stays in place and you don't have seams sort of at places where they shouldn't be. So that's one and I'm going to do the same with this one. That one goes over that way. Twist it around and I'm going to pin it. I pin in the middle first and then smooth the rest of the fabric to the edges. Just like so. Okay, so they're ready to be taken to the sewing machine. There's no need to back stitch uh, when you're doing these blocks. Just simply pop them on and start sewing. When you get to little bits like this, make sure you just fold them down with your finger and guide them under the foot, just so you don't have any stray seams that are sticking up. Okay, and again, just guide it through. You take the pins out as you go, and when you get to the end of this block, just pop the next one ready to go and chain stitch them together. So just guide the next block underneath the foot and sew through. Now the seams for this one are on the bottom and thank goodness this one is, the seam is going towards me so it's not going to go the opposite way. So make sure those seams are down. Okay, so at the moment our blocks are sort of sewn together. I'm just going to get our scissors and just snip that thread that's in between them to free your blocks from each other. I have the ironing board and I've just laid out the blocks in the way that I'm going to be sewing them together next. So open them up and get them to the point where you know this is the way it's going to be going. And what we're going to do is we're going to iron one seam one way and then this seam on this one this way so that when we piece them together these seams are facing opposite directions so that they'll lock in together and we'll have a really lovely connection here in the middle so I'm going to get my iron and I'm just going to set the seam and then open it up 
And this one, the seam I want to be going that way. I'm going to flip it that way. Set the seam. So after ironing it, you can see that we've got one seam going one way, and then this seam here is going the other. So what we're going to do is we're going to lock them in together, make sure it's nice and flat. You can feel that they're lovely and plush together. Grab a pin and just pin right in the middle in between them. Okay, and they'll feel nice and flat. They'll be sitting nice and flat next to each other. Go ahead and pin the rest of this edge here because we'll be sewing down this edge and then finishing the block. Now that we're all pinned up, we're ready to go. We're going to sew down this edge here and finish our block. Take the pins out as you go and remember to tuck those little seams under so that you don't get any puckering. Just iron this seam out here. Just to make the block nice and smooth. Open it up and just really carefully iron it down. Okay, back of the cutting mat, we're just going to quickly square the block off so it's got some lovely little trimmed edges. And what I do is I just measure it against one of the lines on the grid and just trim off the little yucky bits around the edges. Do that on all four sides and you will finish with a beautiful, lovely block. And so here we are at the end and of course, you saw this at the start, that's our finished block. It's looking very, very pretty and very, very sweet. So obviously with a rail fence block, there's always differing sort of designs. Um, today, I showed you how to do it with a two and a half inch strip. You can make that strip smaller, you can also make it bigger, and you can also do more than three. You don't have to do just three strips together. You can do four, you can do five. Um, but obviously the more you add and the bigger the strips are going to be, the bigger the block you're going to have. So you're going to have to um, factor that into the size of what quilt you want to make as well. Thanks for watching my little tutorial. Hopefully I've helped you along your way with your quilting journey. If you're a blog reading type of person, uh, I have the link to my blog in the description box below, so check that out. Subscribe to my channel if you are of the quilty, crafty, sewing nature. I will be posting more of these quilting block tutorials in the future, fingers crossed. Uh, if you've got any questions on this video, just leave a comment and I will definitely reply. Thumbs up if you like this video, any encouragement is good encouragement and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. So thanks very much for watching and I hope to see you another time very, very soon. Bye!